From Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. I love it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Micah. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Micah Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues. You really care about a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOP. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And um, I'm amazed at the amount of email we're getting. And I, I do want to remind you, by the way, that if you have a question, a comment, or you need some advice, or you have an idea for a fantastic program, uh, you can send it in here to tom at blowmeuptom.com. Many times we give the address out right at the end of the hour. Many of you may not be ready to receive it. Many of you may have, you know, turned the volume down or something at the end of the hour, but it's tom at blowmeuptom.com. And I receive the email while I'm on the air. And I'm looking for uh, all of your input. I, I really am. I think uh, <laughs> I just got to tell you that some of the stuff you send in to me is truly amazing. So I hope you will uh, send it in. Anyway, I'm getting so much of it. And so many of you have so many good things to say. So many of you are angry, sad, worried. Uh, the emotions here are truly incredible. A number of you sent me one story, and it, in, in a way, it relates to something we talk about on the air all the time, because many of you end up with somebody who wants to have a baby. Because many of you don't know the signs, or you choose to ignore the signs, or you can't see red flags, or whatever. So many of you have sent me the following story. And um, it is related, although I want to say before I even read this story, that what this guy did, or allegedly did, I have never recommended and would not recommend. I'm just going to say that up front. All kidding aside, before I read this story, I'm not reading it to you to give you an idea of something to do. Because it could get you in deep trouble, and um, honestly, there's better ways to handle this situation. And I want to make sure that nobody mistakes the fact that I'm reading this story with the idea that I'm recommending you do what this guy did, because I clearly don't. I can't make this disclaimer any clearer than I'm making it now. Dateline, Appleton, Wisconsin. Darshana Patel told authorities she was suspicious as she watched her boyfriend stir a smoothie at an ice cream store. Isn't that nice? Girl and her boyfriend go to the ice cream store to have a smoothie. Isn't that nice? In mid Midwestern United States and Wisconsin... A uh, girl and a guy, they go to the ice cream store, they have a smoothie. Oh, how romantic, right? 
says here that when he offered the smoothie to her, he she noticed powder on the cup's rim. And the pregnant woman feigned illness, but she didn't drink it. Okay, so now we know Darshana Patel is pregnant, and she and her boyfriend went to the ice cream store, and he stirred the smoothie, and she pretended to drink it, but she didn't. She pretended she got sick. She didn't. And it's because she noticed powder on the rim of the cup. According to a criminal complaint... The woman says she sent the powder to a laboratory. And it turned out to be, I don't know how to pronounce this, so I'm guessing, mifepristone. But what mifepristone is, or mifepristone, or mifepristone, what that is, it's RU486, the abortion pill. It says here the test results came too late. She had already suffered two miscarriages in less than a year. I wonder how that happened. Last Thursday, Manish Kumar Patel, 34, of Appleton, Wisconsin, was accused of slipping the drug to the woman without her knowledge. He was charged with seven felonies and two misdemeanors, including attempted first-degree intentional homicide of an unborn child, which, by the way, even if you agree that it's wrong to try to kill somebody's unborn baby, uh, this, this law was made as the first step towards outlawing abortion, folks. Also charged with stalking, burglary, and two counts of violating a restraining order. The nine charges carry a maximum penalty of 99 and a half years in prison and a $92,000 fine. Wisconsin is one of 37 states with what is called a fetal homicide law, according to the National Conference of State Legislatures. Under the 1998 law, anyone who attacks a pregnant woman and injures or kills her fetus could face life in prison. County Court Commissioner Brian Feige told Manish Kumar Patel at a hearing these allegations are devious, diabolical, and disturbing. Sounds like the Riddler on Batman with all the alliteration. Defense lawyer Thomas Zesch said he had not had a chance to discuss the case in detail with his client, but expects he will plead not guilty. A woman who identified herself Friday morning as the manager of the health clinic where Darshana Patel works said she is not talking to anyone today. Darshana Patel and Manish Kumar Patel are not related and Manish Kumar Patel is married to someone else. Oh, this is getting really soap opera-like. Patel is a common Indian last night. The criminal complaint paints a picture of a long-running affair that produced a child now aged three, but which soured. The two had known each other since Manish Kumar Patel, who carries a legal green card, emigrated to the U.S. from India in 1998, the complaint said. The two began a relationship in 2001 and had a son in 2004. Again, if he called the show, I'd say, why'd you do that? Why did you do that? Darshana Patel said she became pregnant with Manish's child in September 2006. A child he denied was his, but she miscarried two months later. She became pregnant with his child again in August 2007, the complaint said, and this time she noticed how attentive Manish became. He even prepared meals for her on occasion, she said. Then she noticed the powder on the smoothie cup at the store. A short time later, her doctor detected problems in her hormone levels, and she contacted the lab to test the substance of the cup. 
While waiting for a kit to test the substance, she miscarried. The lab test later confirmed the presence of the abortion pill, the complaint said. She obtained a restraining order on November 13th, authorities said. The complaints in a search of Manish Kumar Patel's residence Wednesday found an envelope containing pills labeled as Mifepristone. Again, I don't know the pronunciation of the drug. It's one of those drug names. Or RU486. Investigators said they asked him if he knew what kind of pills they were, and he responded, abortion pill. He told deputies he got the pills from India, according to the complaint. Access to RU486 is strictly regulated in the U.S., and it is only administered to women in a doctor's office. I guess not an ice cream store. Investigators asked him whether he used the pills to cause the miscarriages, and he declined to answer. In a follow-up interview, he admitted giving Darshana one pill, quote-unquote, but he did not say when or where the complaint said. Patel was ordered held on $750,000 bail after Assistant District Attorney Mark Schroeder said Patel had a net worth of $400,000 was a flight risk. Patel runs service stations and other businesses. Investigators found an airline ticket at Patel's home for a flight scheduled to leave for Germany on November 28th, the day after he was arrested, Schroeder said. Here's what I don't understand in all of this. Again, let me reiterate. I am not recommending that people do what this guy allegedly did. I want to make it real clear. This is bad, bad, bad. I don't want anyone getting the wrong idea. But here's the deal. First of all, you're married to someone else, but you're dating and having kids with another woman. Why do you do that? I don't understand why anybody does that stuff. Can you tell me? Are you doing that? Why? Why? That's number one. Number two, if you're with somebody who is continually getting pregnant, so much so that you had to order abortion pills and continue administering them so she would continue to spontaneously abort. Like, what about birth control? What about a condom? Why do you keep having sex with somebody like that? This makes no sense to me at all. At all. Now, I'm sure many of you are horrified by this story, and I'm sure some of you, because I know this audience, I know some of you probably think the guy was kind of clever, because if he was clever, he wouldn't be in custody now. But I'd like to get your reaction to it, and uh, I'd like to talk about some of the issues relating to this. I mean, do you have sex with somebody who keeps getting pregnant? Even if they have abortions or or they miscarriages, whatever, I, I would like to understand the mentality. Why do you keep having sex with that person? Why do you keep dating that person? I'd like to talk to people who are married to one person, but having affairs with other people and having babies with them. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in this story I'd like to understand. Perhaps you can enlighten me. Tom like this. one 800 5800 Tom. I don't like you. Why not? Because I'm listening to you. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. I want 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Abraham on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's up, buddy? Not much. So I dated this girl when I was 19, and she broke up with me after a while. And later on, about four years later, she blows back into my life. And during that time, she had had three children by three different guys. And she tells me, oh, we were pregnant, and I just couldn't tell you. And I got so nervous that I just broke up with you. And um, I started doing the math in my head. And I'm like, is your oldest kid mine? And she says, oh, no, 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 no. That was another guy. And she was desperately in love with me, this poor girl. And just desperately in love with you. But while she was dating with you, dating you, she was banging somebody else. I think so, dude. I really do. But that's beside the point. Poor that guy. 
you know, at that point, if he wants to, be, if you know, that's not a big deal to me. I'm just glad it wasn't my kid, which it still might be. I don't even know, really. I don't want to know. But that girl was super fertile. She would just get banged and have a kid right away. And I was with this girl on our second date, and I'm putting that condom on, and I just thought, this stupid little piece of rubber is not going to do the job with this super fertile girl. And um, I packed it up, and I left. Oh, that, that's a good idea. I, I just don't understand women to do this. I also don't understand the guys who are involved with them. I don't get it. I mean, that's such a red flag. If you if you're dating a girl that has a bunch of different kids by different dudes, that is should be a huge red flag. I don't care how awesome that girl is. That's a big problem. It's effed up. It's effed up, Tom. I like I liked this girl a lot. She was cool and she was rich. She had a rich daddy, you know. I was like, hey, you know, cool. And I was, a, I just couldn't do it. And that was, that's weird too, Tom. I was about ready and I was just like, this little piece of rubber it ain't going to, this is not going to do anything against these bionic ovaries. <laughs> exactly. Those are bionic ovaries. I don't know if a lot of, if a lot of women are like more fertile than other women. Because oh, no, sure some women sure. some women are definitely more fertile than other women. And some women, let me tell you, some women don't choose to uh, uh, use any protection at all. At all. I think they got a plan, dude. Uh, well, I think you're right. I mean, I always say women who don't use birth control want to have babies. Because sex minus birth control usually equals babies, right, Tom? Well, it uh, frequently does, but the point is when a woman doesn't use any form of birth control, she's sending you a big message. She's saying, I want to have a baby. Worse than that, unlike a woman who looks in your face and says, I want to have a baby, it's <laughs> diabolical because guys will ignore signs, signals, hints, and, of course, red flags. Sure. So oh, this way a woman could say, by the way, I've heard women say this. Well, I wasn't using anything, and he should have known I wasn't using anything, and he wanted to have sex anyway. So, in other words, they're telling you, I want to have a baby. Well, I really think that guys out there should, you know, because a lot of guys, you know this, are just like, duh, I want to have sex. Oh, I'm good. I'm about ready to have sex. Yay. And, they're, and you just have to keep your head on and uh, really think about it, man. There's, you know, like you said, a lot of girls out there. And if this girl is saying, I want to have a baby, or even those, un those unsaid signs that, you know, aren't... You so just can't have sex with, even with a condom, you can't have sex with women who aren't using birth control. And the reason is because they want to have babies. And that's just not the woman that you really want to be with, even for a short period of time. Of course not. Because women who want to have babies are boring, Tom. Well, it's beyond boring. They're, they're going to get you eventually. Well, absolutely. But even for a one-night stand, they're boring. Women who want to have babies want, are all, have all kinds of domestic domesticities. That you gotta dance around, you know. Well, yes. And as you get to my age, I'm 35, and a lot of women that are my age are counting on their little biological calculator. That's why, Tom, you gotta date younger women. Yeah, you ab. You, yeah, but again, it, you really have to back out of the driveway on any woman, any, any woman who wants to have sex without herself using birth control. Man, you should have seen her face when I backed the car out of the driveway. I was like, ah, I got to go. And she had a she had, she had a six-week-old baby when we were going out that second time. Six-week-old, that's creepy. That right there, I was like, the little tiny baby, you know? But um, I backed out of the driveway, and she looked at me just like, where are you going? And I said, I got to get out of here, girl. There's too
too many babies in this house. For one, there's too many babies around, and that's not cool for a 24-year-old guy, how old I was at the time. And the other thing was, I just don't want to be responsible for another one of your babies. Period. That would automatically be a deal killer. Any woman tells me I've got a kid, I've got two kids, my two different, pa- three kids, my three different, fa- and forget it. That's forget trouble. It. That's trouble. Yeah, it's, tr- it's trouble. And then you have to start hanging out with kids to hang out with this girl. What about that crappy issue? If you date a girl that has kids, you end up hanging out with kids. Well, that, that that's even yours. That's that true. Even that's true. Even if she was married, even if she had the kids under normal circumstances, it, it, it's true even then. And I don't want to hang out with kids, especially ones that aren't like your own. You know, it's different if they're your own. I hear. You know, if it's your own kid, you like hanging out with it. But no, man, not in my little casual dating world. Yeah. Well. That's how I feel, uh, Abraham. I thank you for the call. Let's go to Michael on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's going on, buddy? Still a little radio show here, Michael. Hey, that worked. That'll work. Um, well, I'm 32, L.A., and uh, I have an 8-year-old boy, and I'm sort of, well, it's been in the back of my head that maybe he's not mine. You know, I really don't want to say that because, you know, I love I love my son. So, did you tell me you don't want to know? Well, I want to know, and then I don't want to know. But I, 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 actually, I want to do. I, I want to find out if he's not mine. You know, he has no features of me. He has nothing. He looks exactly like his mom and her her family. You know, mm-hmm. nothing like, nothing like my family. Uh, you probably can't get out of paying child support, uh, no matter what happens. Is that right? Yeah, uh, although I would consult an attorney on that question uh, if you have that problem. But uh, Rite Aid drug stores in Southern California have now begun selling uh, do-it-yourself DNA tests. And how does that work? How does, uh, yeah, well, I've never used one, but you pay nineteen ninety-five to twenty-four ninety-five, depending on the store. Uh-huh. And you go home and you do the test. Okay. Because I am married to his mom. We all live together. Right, but do you? But the thing is, do you want to know? Yeah, I do want to know. All right. Uh, now, uh, by the way, if this test turns out to to show you not being the father, don't take the test word for it. Then go in and have a real test done at a real lab. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll do that. Um. I mean, I me, I would want to know. Yeah, I I, I definitely want to know because it's been eating at me, and I feel myself. Acting different towards him compared to my second son. Look, uh, you, by the way, who knows if he's uh, yours? True. Well, I actually know he's mine. No, you don't. (laughs) True. You're right about that. I mean, if you're going to do one, do two. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that because it's been eating at me. I, I look at him and he looks nothing like my family. And, you know, but everybody treats him as he's mine because, you know, hopefully he's mine. But uh, and at the same time, I just really want to know. And the thing that's messed up, I just got married quite some time ago. A little, you know, not that long ago. And you needed to be married. Why? Because <laughs> uh, I'm in love. I, I think <laughs> you're in love with a woman you don't trust. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm completely in the dark right now. I don't know, but I I will I will definitely go to Rite Aid and pick up that test. Yeah, keep in mind, I don't own stock in Rite Aid. They don't run any advertising on the station here in L.A. We just read a story, and they happen to be the ones carrying a DNA test. All right, that's that's good to know. I'm glad that they have it, and they're advertising it. You know, there's a lot of guys, you know, there's guys, I know there's plenty of guys out there like myself, you know. The test is there, take it. 
absolutely right. I'm just, I, I don't know how it's going to affect my current living if he's not mine. Well, uh, that you have to think about that before you do it. Yeah. Yeah, you're definitely right about that. But I I do want to, yeah, I, I, I want to do it. I want to do it, even if it's going to change everything, because, you know, I can't, you know, I'll still treat him like if he's mine, you know, but I don't think me and his mom would work out after that. Because I wouldn't, just thinking about, you know, him every day, who she's been with, looking like somebody else, you know, that that I wouldn't be able to handle. All right, well, then it's time to find out. All right. So Can you find out. Favor, Tom? What would Tom. that be? Yes. Oh, uh, you know, thanks for your advice, everything. Um, can you take me out of uh, old, old school style? Old, old school. Of course I can. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I think I must do penance tonight for talking to you today because years ago I thought you were the seat of Satan and, uh, and I've come around. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood. At 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate you being part of the program. I, I'm just uh, blown away by the women that some guys get involved with. We're talking about the guy in Wisconsin who's alleged to have uh, repeatedly administered the RU486 abortion bill to his girlfriend, who sounds like her real name is Fertile Myrtle. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Rachel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Can you hear me? Why? Hello? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, this is Rachel. I don't really listen to your radio station that often. I've heard about you a lot. And I just tuned in, um, you know, about 10 minutes ago when some guy was talking about... Um, this girl getting pregnant, I'm not sure. And you were saying about um, any girl who's on birth control, who isn't on birth control, basically um, wants to get pregnant. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. First, do you have any clue how annoying it is for a female to be on birth control? Do you know what it feels like to feel nauseous every day? Well, uh, st stop right pregnant? there. Stop. So? You're talking about one form of birth control, the birth control pill. Yeah, and other birth control. Which? Which leaves out ten other forms of birth control, which are not, which are not all the same. No, but have you done your studies on other forms of birth control to have that amount of hormones in you? Every type of birth control. They don't all involve that. hormones. Okay, you know what? Put that aside. No, no, really no, listen. no, no. I'm not putting it aside. I'm not putting it aside. A diaphragm does not involve hormones. You could use a diaphragm, but you choose not to. You could use a cervical cap. You choose not to. There's all kinds of things you could be doing to prevent pregnancy. The reason you don't prevent pregnancy is because you want to have a baby. So why is it that a guy who chooses to have with some random girl he just met at the bar is that dumb that he doesn't think he should use a condom? Why is it the guy? I, I, I will agree with you. I will agree with you that guys who have sex without a condom are dumb. That's true. But women who have sex without birth control aren't dumb. They want to have a baby. You, you want to have a baby. That's just that's ridiculous. You want to have a baby. Why won't you use a diaphragm? Because it's annoying. Ah, annoying. See, first we have one that makes you sick, now another one that's annoying. What about a cervical cap? I, I'm telling you, you have to do your... Have you used a cervical... Have you used a cervical cap? No, I've used birth control pills. I'm a, well, I, well, see, you haven't used any other forms of birth control. And the fact that you haven't, the fact that you haven't and you're unwilling to do so indicates the real truth. The real truth is you want to have a baby. 
I don't understand why you never even make it a point to even put some responsibility on them. I, I have said, repeat, I, I, you're an idiot, and you've paid no attention to anything I've ever said. You just said you don't listen to this show. You just said it. Right. Well, then you don't know it. Then you don't. Then you don't know what I do on this show, do you? That you do not know. I know. I'm not gonna. No, no. I'm not gonna let you keep going. No, I'm not. Not until you you acknowledge what I'm saying. You haven't listened to this show, so you don't know what I do on this program, do you? Acknowledge that since you said you're not a listener, you don't know what I do on this show, do you? I've also said that I've... Do you listen to this show, yes or no? Listen to it maybe four or five times. So, but you said that you generally... you said Did you say during this conversation you're not a listener? Did you say that? Yes, I've listened to it four or five times. Did you say you're not a listener? Did you say you're not a listener? Yes, I did say I'm All right, so if you're not a listener, you don't know what I do on this show, do you? I do know that you never... You, you don't know what I ever do because you're not a listener. You just I said so. other listeners were discussing... You just yourself. said you don't know what I do. You don't listen to the show. I'm telling you, I know... You're I'm not listening. in a position... I don't care what the other listeners say. You tell me, when have you... Right now, even the time that I was listening to you, you were completely putting full blame on females. Again, dear, you are just one of the, you, what you are trying to get away from by screeching, which is what women do, you are trying to get away from the fact that you want to accidentally get pregnant. You want to say, whoops, I'm pregnant. Whoops, look at that. Well, it just so happened I'm having a baby. That's what you want. Yeah, no, I'm not saying that. I'm so saying you, do you or do you not want to have, do you or do you not want to have a baby? Listen to me. You're do you? Not going to let you do it. You can do that to your boyfriend or your husband or whoever, but you're not going to do it here. Yes or no, I will accept only one answer. A, yes, or B, no. Do you want to have a baby? A woman. Uh, no, not going to let you do it. You're going to answer this question. A, yes, B, no. Do you want to have a baby? No, I do not want to have a baby. But, but you know you're going to in your going to if you keep having sex without using birth control. You know that, right? No, because I make sure to use a condom. Yeah, and you think I condoms sure. are an effective form of birth control? No, but I make sure that the, it's a man. See, you just admitted that you don't think they're an effective form of birth control, and you don't use any birth control. So logically speaking, which of course is a woman, you're not really well versed in logic. The likelihood is at some point a condom will fail and you are going to get pregnant. Oh, my God. I, what I'm saying is I think that I leave some responsibility to the man. Forget about they that. Are, but you know what? Forget the man. You see, the fact is... We don't care about who the man is. The man is some guy you're having sex with. We're talking about you. Do you want to have a baby? And the answer is yes, because all this crapola about leaving some of it to the man is just nonsense, and it's a smokescreen. Because really, in reality, guys are just a tool to be used to have sex with. So the bottom line here is not what, what they do. The bottom line is what the, the outcome you want. Do you want to have a baby? Who cares what the guy does? Let, let's say uh, you cross the street. Do you want to get hit by a car? Now, you could say, well, I don't look both ways when I cross the street because it's up to the car to hit the brake. But are you stupid enough not to look both ways? Probably not. Right? Well, why don't you say... I'm asking you a question. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I am not letting you go on to the next rant until I get a yes or no on anything I ask you. Do you look both ways before you cross the street? Yes or no? You do. But, but isn't it incumbent upon the guy driving the car to hit the brake? I do expect also that... Is it incumbent upon the drive? That's a yes, no. That's a yes or a no. Is it incumbent upon a driver... To hit the brake if he sees you in the middle of the intersection. Yes or no? Yes. All right, but, but, but the thing is, uh, then why do you need to look both ways? But you're still putting... Well, I don't know. I want you good. to tell me the answer to the question. Why, why, why do you look both ways? 
to just to make sure. But just to make sure. Very good. Just to make sure. That's good. Just to make sure. So why won't you use birth control? Just to make sure. And the answer is because unlike not wanting to be hit by a car, you want the accident of having a baby. You want that accident to happen. All right. Right? I'm, I'm not, I mean, there's no point of arguing with Well, you. again, you're not capable because you're not up to the task here. The fact is, when you cross the street, you look both ways. You know what? Do you lock your door at night? Yes. But it's, isn't it incumbent upon people not to come into your home and steal things? Yes. But why do you lock the door? The answer, just to make sure. Okay, great. So the fact is, you make sure nobody will rob your house by locking the door. You make sure that a car won't hit you when you're crossing the street by looking both ways. But you don't make sure you're not going to have a baby by using birth control. I still don't. You don't want to make sure you're not going to have a baby, do you? I still don't think you should be on the Do you? You don't want, you don't want to, you don't want to prevent that accident from happening, do you? All right, you you argue. don't want to you don't want to do you? I'm not going to argue about this anymore because okay. you're not capable of arguing. <laughs> Hang on a second, Phyllis. What did you want to say here to Rachel? Oh my God! How can this broad be arguing with the professor? Hi, Dad. Hi, dear. Um, she needs to. How can she call? If you want, I'm sorry. If you want to get pregnant, because how can you say, "Oh, um, I don't want to be on birth control because it makes you nauseous"? Then you change the whole story. If you're going to call and argue, first of all, you need to get all your facts straight. Okay, like I don't want to get pregnant. I have learned a lot from Tom like this, and it gets you nauseous. Take it at night. There's other forms of birth control. Obviously, you do want to get pregnant. No, no, no. My argument is, I had two arguments. One was, it is annoying to be on birth control, but two is, why do you not put any responsibility on the man? Is what my was You have to be dependent on your not You can't depend on anybody else but yourself. You can't just... A man is just a man. You gotta watch out for yourself. Nobody else is gonna watch out for yourself but you. And that's why you gotta take the precautions to protect yourself. So you're telling me if you're married you, and you want, you do not want to be on birth control anymore and you want your husband to be, um, to take, to put on a condom, you should not put any responsibility on him? No, I'm not gonna trust you. You're married, you want to get pregnant. Control? You want to trap the guy and get him pregnant. What? If you really loved him, then you would get on birth control because you don't want to have a baby, right? 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 You, you don't want to put any, you don't think that a man, your husband, should not have any responsibility in this whatsoever. It's depend on yourself, sweetie. Like, you, you don't want to get pregnant, right? Do you want to, you, you never even answered this yeah, question. What I'm saying is, I don't even answer Tom's question. Do you want to get pregnant? Are you asking me a personal question? Because uh, I'm married, I've already been pregnant, pregnant, I've already had a baby. I'm not, I'm t not talking about myself, I'm talking about women in general. Well, women in general should be on birth control. They should take it among themselves to protect themselves. Who cares about what the man is going to get his nut he's going to leave you. I, I wasn't on birth control, and I didn't get pregnant for years. We were careful. I knew when I'm ovulating, I didn't get pregnant. So obviously, and I didn't want to get pregnant. I got pregnant when I wanted to. In case you guys don't know, it's not that easy to get pregnant either. You don't just Well, a man who's really pussy whipped will wait until you're not ovulating to have sex. Yeah, that, that guy is really pussy whipped. So uh, I want to say hello to your pussy whipped husband out there, wherever he is. Wait, what did you say? What, what do you mean? Tell what I'm you heard what I said. You, have you heard what I said. No, no, I'm confused. You can have sex every day. Rachel, you go ahead and cross the street without looking both ways. Go right ahead and do it. Because uh, it's up to the driver. Both ways. I'm looking all four ways. Please. I'm even watching behind me for crying out loud. Yeah. Well, I, I, I know, Phyllis, you get it. And, Rachel, what could I say? You're an idiot. The Tom Likas Show.